What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Wednesday, April 27th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NBA playoffs. We have a two game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. So my favorite play on the slate is Stephen Curry from the Golden State Warriors playing the Denver Nuggets. Stephen Curry has averaged 45.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 31% usage rate. He's projected at 47.3 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.3 times value. He's 9,000 DraftKings salary, 600 more on FanDuel, and Stephen Curry has scored 59, 39, and 49 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 30, and 22 minutes. So his minutes have been trending up. So if he can get 35 to 36 minutes here tonight, I think he can put up 50 plus fantasy points and get you well over five times value. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 225.5 points scored in this game. It's the highest scoring game on the slate. The other game is 218 points. The game between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Chicago Bulls. So I think this is a good game to stack. So I like Stephen Curry here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, this next play I like more on FanDuel because it's Drew Holiday. And he's 8,600 DraftKings salary, but he's 500 less on FanDuel. So on DraftKings, I would just rather pay the 400 and play Stephen Curry. But at only 8,100 FanDuel salary compared to Stephen Curry's 9,600, I think I would prefer to play Drew Holiday. So Drew Holiday from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Chicago Bulls. And Drew Holiday has averaged 38.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He's projected at 39.7 fantasy points here tonight. Now on DraftKings, that's only 4.6 times value, but that would be five times value or more on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. And we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 218 points scored in this game. And Drew Holiday has averaged 40, uh, he has scored 43, 36, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 29, and 37 minutes. So I like Drew Holiday on FanDuel here versus the Chicago Bulls. And another FanDuel play that I like is Jordan Poole. So he's 7,400 DraftKings salary, but he's 500 less on FanDuel. So at 6,900 FanDuel salary, he could score 35 fantasy points and be a good play. He scored 32, 39, and 55 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 33, and 33 minutes. So even with Stephen Curry back, he's still playing plenty of minutes. Now his usage rate is going down. The ball is going to be in the hands of Stephen Curry a bit more, but he's still a good play on FanDuel. So I like Jordan Poole on FanDuel here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Will Barton from the Denver Nuggets playing the Golden State Warriors. Will Barton has averaged 29.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. He's projected at 29.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. 
He's 5,800 DraftKings salary, 300 less on FanDuel. And we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 225.5 points scored in this game. So I think it's a good way to get some lower salary exposure to this game. Will Barton has scored 18, 29, and 31 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 33, and 30 minutes. So I like Will Barton here versus the Golden State Warriors. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, now here's a high risk, high reward value play. But looking at all the value plays on the slate, I think this guy makes a lot of sense. Take a look at Pat Connington from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Chicago Bulls. Pat Connington has averaged 20.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 14% usage rate. He's projected at 18.7 fantasy points here tonight. That's just about five times value. He's only 3,800 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel, and he scored 16, 23, and 10 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 28, 20, and 22 minutes. And I mean, that's what you're gonna get, roll a dice. He's, he could break your lineup and go out there and score 10 fantasy points, which wouldn't even necessarily break your lineup because the salary is so low, but it certainly wouldn't help it. Um, or he could go out there, score 16 to 18 fantasy points and hit five times value. Or he could go out there and put up 20 plus fantasy points and get you over five times value and allow you all that salary to put into other studs on your in your lineup. So there's limited value plays on a two game slate. He's playing 20 plus minutes, has 20 plus fantasy point upside. So I like Pat Connington here versus the Chicago Bulls. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Aaron Gordon from the Denver Nuggets playing the Golden State Warriors. Aaron Gordon has averaged 28.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 27.7 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 30 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 6,000 DraftKings salary, 200 more on FanDuel, and Aaron Gordon scored 40, 42, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 34, and 25 minutes. So I think this play makes a lot of sense. He's got clear 40 plus fantasy point upside, and he's pretty cheap for that kind of ceiling, playing a ton of minutes, 34 minutes the past two games. And he doesn't need all that much to hit value. I think like 30 plus fantasy points and he's going to be just fine. So I like Aaron Gordon here versus the Golden State Warriors. Now another guy that's in pretty much the same boat here as Aaron Gordon is Andrew Wiggins from the Golden State Warriors playing the Denver Nuggets. Andrew Wiggins has averaged 29.9 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He's projected at 29.7 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 5,900 DraftKings salary, 200 more on FanDuel. And Andrew Wiggins has scored 37, 21, and 29 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 28, in 30 minutes so I think it's a coin flip between Aaron Gordon and Andrew Wiggins they're both basically the same price just a hundred dollar difference on both sites so you can mix and match these guys 
could even play both of them in the same lineup because they both have 35 plus fantasy point upside and their salary is pretty reasonable considering it's a two game slate playing a bunch of minutes. So I like Andrew Wiggins here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. So the stud on the slate, Giannis Ananakupo, or one of the big studs on the slate. We got Giannis, who's averaging 58 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 35% usage rate. He's projected at 59.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 11,600 DraftKings salary, 100 less on FanDuel. And Giannis has scored 68, 40, and 75 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 29, and 40 minutes. So I like Giannis Ananakupo. He's one of the few players on the slate that has 70 plus fantasy point upside. The other guy on the slate is Nikolai Jokic. These are the big studs on the slate that have that slate breaking monster number production possibility. So I like Giannis Ananakupo here versus the Chicago Bulls. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Now, I don't love this play, but he certainly does have this upside. Just take a look at DeMar DeRozan from the Chicago Bulls playing the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, he averaged 43.4 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 32% usage rate. He's projected at 45.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. He's 8,800 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel. And I think for that price, I would just rather play Stephen Curry, but this is a different position. So it just depends on how your lineup is gonna be built. But DeMar DeRozan has scored 35, 24, and 61 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 40, 32, and 44 minutes. So he's getting the minutes and he's got the upside. I just don't love this play. I would rather play Stephen Curry, but he's a fine play here if you need to fit in a small forward or power forward eligible player that's got that 40 plus fantasy point upside. So I like DeMar DeRozan here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Another power forward that I like, and I like this guy quite a bit because you can save a little bit of salary with this pick, and he's got 40 plus fantasy point upside, but I would say more like 35 plus fantasy point upside. It's Draymond Green from the Golden State Warriors playing the Denver Nuggets. Draymond Green has averaged 30.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 14% usage rate. He's projected at 31.7 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 35 fantasy points or more and get you over five times value. He's 6,700 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel, and Draymond Green has scored 40, 32, and 27 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 35, and 29 minutes. So I like Draymond Green here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, now here's another guy I would consider on FanDuel. Wouldn't play him on DraftKings because I would just rather pay the 200 more for Draymond Green. But take a look at Bobby Portis from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Chicago Bulls. He averaged 31.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game 
with a 21% usage rate. Now, he's projected at 27.9 fantasy points here tonight, but that's a little bit low because he just started playing. Um, well, actually, what's dragging that average down is that three games ago, only played five minutes and scored four fantasy points. But if you throw that game out, he scored 29, 41, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games. So that's actually pretty good production for his price point. Now he's 6,500 DraftKings salary. And like I said, I would, I would rather play Draymond Green at 6,700 DraftKings salary, but he's 700 less on FanDuel. So for 5,800 FanDuel salary, I think Bobby Portis makes a lot of sense. So I like Bobby Portis on FanDuel here versus the Chicago Bulls. Okay, let's take a look at the center position. So the other big stud on the slate with that 70 plus fantasy point upside is Nikolai Jokic from the Denver Nuggets playing the Golden State Warriors. And he's averaging 61.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 32% usage rate, projected at 62.3 fantasy points here tonight. And that's 5.5 times value. He's 11,400 DraftKings salary, 100 less on FanDuel. And Nikolai Jokic has scored 54, 73, and 52 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 38, and 28 minutes. So I like Nikolai Jokic here versus the Golden State Warriors. Another center that I like is Nikolai Vucevic from the Chicago Bulls playing the Milwaukee Bucks. Nikolai Vucevic has averaged 40.8 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He's projected at 42.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 8,400 DraftKings salary, 400 less on FanDuel, and he scored 31, 35, and 48 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 30, and 36 minutes. So I like Nikolai Vucevic here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. So I'm going to give you a high risk, high reward play here. I mean, this is a total crapshoot, a total wild card play. And I wouldn't play him on FanDuel, but on DraftKings, his salary is low enough. And he's such a point per minute monster. If he can get 15 to 20 minutes somehow, you never know what's going to happen. Maybe... Um, the Joker gets in foul trouble. Take a look at DeMarcus Cousins from the Denver Nuggets playing the Golden State Warriors. Now, he's averaged 20.1 fantasy points per game on the season, only playing an average of 15 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. So he's got a monster usage rate when he's out there, not playing a ton of minutes, but take a look what he's done in his limited minutes. In the last three games, he scored 18, 11, and 20 fantasy points, playing 10, 9, and 12 minutes. He's got a 1.39 fantasy point per minute average, and he can put up two plus fantasy points per minute, like he did almost yesterday, almost two fantasy points per minute, just tons of production. So if this guy gets 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I mean, my God, he's gonna crush value so he's projected at 18.8 fantasy points here tonight. And on DraftKings, that's 5.7 times value. Only 3,300 DraftKings salary. I do think he could be a wild card here on DraftKings. So I like DeMarcus Cousins as a high risk, high reward value play here versus the Golden State Warriors. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com.
you can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.